Hello again, witchy people. Time, I hope, for me to have a quick update and then I'm going to bed. It's 10 to 2 in the morning and I have had a really tough few days. Um, <laughs> uh, I have just uploaded a video about the 50 subscribers uh, giveaway. I do have 52 subscribers now and, you know, I really want to do this giveaway and I've decided to set it for Friday the 13th and of the... 52 subscribers I have, one of them is me <laughs> from another channel, and of the other 51, only 21 are public subscribers, so I don't know who 30 subscribers are, so I can't include them in the giveaway unless I know who they are. So I put a video out about that. <clears throat> um, so I've, I've been told recently, you talk with your hands. I know, <laughs> I can't help it. I'm, I'm trying to keep them together and stop waving them around so much. Uh, but I can't. <laughs> so I've done that and uh, so everything's a bit of a blur at the moment. I still have uh, orbital cellulitis in this eye and I, I suffer with blisters on my eyeballs which is an allergic reaction um, to something. Not too sure what. Life probably. <laughs> and uh, of course as, as the uh, swelling goes down the skin under the eye gets a little bit baggy and uh, you have to wait for that to tighten up again and I usually give it a little bit of help with a bit of uh, hemorrhoid ointment <laughs> a bit of preparation H under the skin not too close to the eye and it tightens up the skin temporarily there helps it along so I shall be doing that later <laughs> um, but other than that I think my health is okay it's not got any worse as such Unfortunately, the same cannot be said for my mum-in-law. Uh, I spent two days with her yesterday and the day before, and she does have vascular dementia, as far as they can tell. It's not something you can be diagnosed with. Um, you're only diagnosed with vascular dementia when they rule out everything else. And they basically ruled out everything and said her symptoms are this uh, terrible, awful disease. And... We are in the middle of, uh, we've been told we can't have the house done until next month. So she can't move in here until the house is done uh, because the noise would be too much of her. They'd lock up the windows for three weeks and she wouldn't be able to cope at all. Uh, so we can't have her here. And when she does come here, it's like hair itching my nose again. I've really got to get my hair cut. Um, <laughs> We can move her in temporarily to what is the dining room whilst we have an extension built and then she can come and live with us and sell her house and then as she needs more care we will use the proceeds from her house to uh, get her the care that she needs. <clears throat> Obviously this is, uh, this is something that needs to be done as quickly as possible and it's just there's there's nothing we can do to rush things on so it's all a bit frustrating we're, we all feel like we're in the middle of a whirlwind you know everything's everything's happening around us and we we can't get it sorted so it is frustrating and very annoying uh so like i said i did touch on this before with the with my my other mummy having vascular dementia and like i said they, they are pretty sure that is what it is so we will plod onwards and hopefully she won't go downhill too fast and we can get her settled here and i may even get her online occasionally she is a funny funny lady luckily even now uh, she knows she understands there's something wrong she has been told she probably has vascular dementia but she forgets that she's been told and <laughs> but uh, she does make jokes about it she has a wonderful sense of humor and she's joking that uh, she needs to be put in a madhouse and you know she's forgetful and that's going to be her excuse for everything from now on so her sense of humor is intact uh, so fingers crossed that will carry on for a while you know and she'll stay quite even so enough of that uh, tomorrow I'm going to I'm going away for a break, a day break, and I am going to visit my Lizzie, my mister from another mister. And you may have had me mention her a few times before. She's a, an incredibly important part of my life. 
uh, when her mum passed away, <clears throat> I, think, I think it was about four, four years ago now, four and a half years ago, um, I would hope that I helped her. And a year after her mum passed away, my father passed away and I would not have coped without her. She's that important in my life. My family is her family, her family is my family and I wouldn't have it any other way. Um, and I know it's quite strange when people talk about people in their lives that, you know, viewers have never, never met, never seen, know nothing about. And we, we, us, uh, the people telling you about the, these people in our lives, uh, we, we don't take into account too much that you don't know these other people. But uh, trust me, everyone needs to know Elizy. <laughs> she is the most wonderful, wonderful human being. She is uh, if I was a man, I would have married her. <laughs> uh, but, you know, she's, yeah, she's just perfect. There's, there's no other way to describe it. She's she's lovely. And one day I will record me and her and you, you'll all get to meet her. And you'll probably be very thankful that you did. <laughs> so. Uh, another quick reminder, Friday 13th, the giveaway, you need to be a public subscriber for me to know who you are. Uh, <clears throat> family, Ooh, tear my hair out, family, um, I love them all, <laughs> but it's so hard sometimes. And friends who are family, can't get better than that. Uh, it was my Lizzie's birthday yesterday, and she is slightly older than me. But to look at her, you wouldn't think so. Anyway, I have really rambled on. Uh, there is one other piece of news. I, I have now completed four out of the seven exams. Um, so I've done the crystal, the certified crystal practitioner exam, the master herbalist exam, the <clears throat> um, essential oils general exam. The, uh, the last one I did was the essential oils and aromatherapy for beginners because I wanted to sort of go back and have a whole you know do the whole thing so I wanted to do sort of like a media uh, sort of like a beginners an intermediate and an advanced and I, I did the intermediate you know, the beginners exam was absolute rubbish I got a hundred percent how you couldn't get a hundred percent is actually no I got 94 percent but you should have got a hundred percent how you cannot get a hundred percent I don't know um but I wouldn't recommend a beginner's course online now for anyone. Uh, go straight to the advanced uh, because you'll learn the basics anyway. So that's that done. Um, I'm now doing the advanced uh, uh, essential oils and aromatherapy. And then I think I've got one on supernatural beings. And I can't remember what the other one is. Because <laughs> my brain is fried. Um, I have, there is a very, very well-known, uh, which I'm not going to mention any names because I don't want to jinx anything. And I know this video is going to go on so long. I do apologize. Um, this particular person asked for, um, anyone who'd like to do some guest writings in her blog. And I thought I can do that. This was before. I found out about my mother-in-law and before I decided to take on so many extra exams thought I won't hear anything you know and I did and I've just sent off a test blog if you like I don't think I'm going to get too far because this this woman our styles of writing are very very different and I have tried to keep to the guidelines um, she's we are very very different she's quite young not that not that age has anything to do with it uh she's she follows a completely different path to me she's incredibly wise incredibly knowledgeable and incredibly affable and friendly and she she writes about a lot of things and she's very knowledgeable about all these things i can only write about my own very small uh, world of hedge witchery and how i practice so but we shall see. If she likes it, I will let you know. And if it gets published, 
I will also let you know. So wish me luck, but uh, don't hold your breath. <laughs> <laughs> okay, when I do the giveaway, um, one of the pets, it'll either be Coco or Kitty Belle or Barkley McScruffles, the dog, will pick the winners because I think that's, you know, I have to include them in this. Um, well, oh, diet, diet update. Um, I have, I'm pretty sure, lost weight. I am not going to get myself weighed. I am going to basically figure out if I've lost weight or not by how I feel, uh, how I look, um, whether I'm losing inches or not, whether I'm toning up or not. Not that I'm ever going to really tone up, not at my age. And because of the size I have been, uh, which is about a UK size 28, 26, 28. So that would be an extra, 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 extra large, I think. <laughs> so yeah, UK size sort of like 26, 28 is what I used to be, maybe slightly bigger. So I'm never really going to tone up exactly. Uh, but, you know, I, like I said, I think I am changing albeit very slowly but that's okay and the oils that oh, so usually up here i put it in my handbag because i'm going out tomorrow um the fragrance oil that is an appetite suppressant uh, suppressant I'm, I'm not i'm not advocating these blends to stop you eating um these blends are just really to help you stop snacking in between meals so that you can really enjoy your full meal and get all the nutrients and everything from your, from your meals rather than bulking up on rubbish in between meals. Uh, so it's, it's really, it's working. Okay, I, I know I shouldn't be surprised that it's working, but it is working. So I will get the blends, <coughs> excuse me, I will get the blends sorted out. They are boxed, they are boxed ready in here see but they have to be made all pretty in their boxes and I'd like to also include some really lovely incense combs I haven't decided which ones yet um and also probably a little incense burner as well and I think that would make a really nice little um gift now I noticed that these um diet aid uh, massage oils and perfumes go for about £10 each and I think that's horrendously disgusting so my two bottles of oil in the box with um, the incense it's not going to be more than £10 it's certainly not going to be more than £10 uh, once again um, I don't do it it sounds horrible I don't do it for the money I mean I, at the moment I'm averaging out about two sales a week on my Etsy store so I'm earning about four pounds a week <laughs> on my Etsy store and you know big deal I don't mind I mean I set on my Etsy store on my own I had no funding from anyone I have had no financial help from anyone it's been sheer hard work gathering things together and you know getting that sorted and trying to source things as cheaply as possible so I can pass on these these things you know sell these things at, at a reasonable price and I do think I am very very reasonable I'm not going to say I'm the cheapest but I'm, I'm pretty much one of the most inexpensive but for what I sell I think I am the most inexpensive <clears throat> um, in the format that I sell things in uh, but like I said I don't do it for the money I do it for the joy of doing it to be honest <laughs> and that's you know, I'm never going to become a millionaire, so I'm not even going to become a penny millionaire. It's not even going to make me that way. So, but you know, you do it for the enjoyment and because you like sharing, you know, and it gives me something to do because I don't work outside of the home. So it gives you something to do. And I've rammed on enough. Um, so I'm going to go now. That is my vlog update rambling on. <laughs> things are going quite well they could be worse let's put it that way things could be worse so I'm grateful for that so I'm going now <laughs>
don't forget if you want to be part of the giveaway you have to be a public subscriber simple as i'm going thank you for watching my cheeky people bye bye for now